Extraterrestrial life refers to life forms that did not originate and are not indigenous to our planet. So this term covers all possible types of life outside the Earth. These can be viruses, but also plant-like life forms. Some go even further. They are looking for creatures that are very similar to humans in their complexity, or even surpass them, popularly known as aliens. But if there is extraterrestrial life, why hasn't anyone heard about it until now? Do so-called aliens even exist? The Fermi Paradox addresses this very question. What approaches there are to this, you can find out here. The Fermi Paradox represents a thought of the physicist Enrico Fermi from 1950. Fermi assumed that there is extraterrestrial life, or extraterrestrial intelligence. This extraterrestrial intelligence should make it possible for technically advanced colonizations to survive for several million years, and during this time, it should be possible to colonize complete galaxies by means of intergalactic and interstellar space travel. Fermi went even further. He assumed that this had already happened. Nevertheless, the search for extraterrestrials has been unsuccessful so far, which was paradoxical for the scientist. Therefore, he questioned his observations and assumptions, which led to the Fermi Paradox. Since the universe is already very old and has many stars, there should be life beyond the Earth, unless the origin of life on our Earth is an unusual process. This is also called the Rare Earth Hypothesis. It is assumed that the Earth does not have a unique position in our solar system, and that there are other technical civilizations in our galaxy. Although the galaxy has a width of about 100,000 light years, a sublight drive would need up to 10 million years for such a distance, so that one can conclude that the age of the galaxy is about 10 billion years. If there is a civilization in the Milky Way that is capable of interstellar colonization, then the whole galaxy could be completely colonized and that only in a few million years. But the Milky Way is much older than the at least 20 years that would be necessary for it. Therefore, extraterrestrial life should exist somewhere in the neighborhood of the Earth. But up to today, no proof for extraterrestrial life could be found. So, the paradox in a nutshell, if extraterrestrials do exist, why aren't they here? The Drake Equation The Drake Equation is closely related to the Fermi Paradox. So far, most of the parameters of this equation are still unknown, so it cannot help much in solving the paradox. The Drake equation only refers to the Milky Way, our galaxy. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy, according to whose type about two-thirds of the galaxies existing in the universe are constructed. Since the universe, as observed today, has about up to 100 billion similar galaxies to the Milky Way, the final value resulting from the Drake equation would have to be multiplied by a relative factor for the whole universe. Although this increases the total number of possible civilizations enormously, this calculation remains very imprecise due to the insufficient knowledge of other galaxies. Furthermore, the Drake equation refers not only to the theoretical number of civilizations, but also to the possibility of establishing contact with them. The closest galaxy is the Andromeda Nebula, which is 2.5 million light-years away. So this galaxy is already out of consideration for practical contact, and consequently, all others as well. Hypothesis? We are really alone. One thesis says that multicellular life in space is very rare, since even Earth-like planets are rare. Since many improbable coincidences met each other so that life on Earth could develop, the existence of other Earth-like planets is also improbable. These coincidences include the existence of the Moon and the position of the Earth in the solar system, which ensures a life-friendly temperature for the Earth. In this explanation attempt, the parameters of the so-called Drake equation are chosen in such a way that in the galaxy in which we find ourselves, only our civilization exists. Thus, the Fermi paradox no longer becomes paradoxical because one of the basic assumptions is negated. This hypothesis is convincing for many scientists. However, there are scientists who believe Earth-like planets do exist. Especially the fact that more and more exoplanets are being discovered supports this assumption. Impossibility of Interstellar Colonization 
The prerequisite for the Fermi paradox is a civilization capable of colonizing interstellar. However, this cannot be fulfilled on principle, because with this precondition, it would be possible that there would be some technical civilizations, but they could not influence each other because the spatial distance would be too far. Here is an example. The distance of the Sun to the star Proxima Centauri, the nearest star, can only be reached after several years, even if the speed of light is included here. According to current knowledge, however, the speed of light cannot be exceeded, which leads to several questions. For one thing, the question arises whether a civilization could still reach foreign star systems, and if this would be advantageous for this civilization. On the other hand, there is the question of what time offset in oral exchange among populations from different star systems would be acceptable in order for a civilization to have the necessary cohesion. According to Stephen Hawking, the origin of life outside the Earth is probable. He also believes that human-like intelligence is possible. However, he assumes that this intelligence will eventually reach a limit and become unstable so that these organisms will unintentionally extinguish themselves. This could be triggered, for example, by genetically manipulated viruses, nuclear wars, or a greenhouse effect that can no longer be controlled. Berserker Theory and Dark Forest Theory The Berserker Theory, named after Fred Saberhagen's Berserker Saga, assumes that aliens send artificial probes into space that destroy other civilizations. In doing so, they deliberately destroy other life so that potential enemies are eliminated early on allowing the aliens to spread out into space undisturbed. There are different opinions concerning the way of extermination. The Dark Forest Theory, named after Lu Cixin's trilogy The Dark Forest, aims in a thematically similar direction. According to this theory, extraterrestrial life does exist, but these civilizations camouflage themselves and behave inconspicuously so that no potential enemies will notice them. This is intended to reduce the risk of predation similar to camouflage in biology. According to this, the universe is a so-called dark forest, which is home to all kinds of predators that compete for the best camouflage. Astrophysical Explanation Gamma-ray bursts are now considered the most energetic phenomena in the universe. This is because gamma-ray bursts can cause mass deaths in planets that are located within their cones of radiation, even light years away. Thus, higher life could also have been extinguished by them. In galaxies, evolution to complex life forms is said to have been impossible in the first 5 billion years of the beginning of the universe because of intense gamma-ray activity. The Mathematical A Priori Argument The astrophysicist J. Richard Gott does not consider the thesis that galaxies are colonized to be tenable because he believes that all life would then be part of such a super-civilization. Because if civilizations existed, then according to the astrophysicist, it would be unlikely that we were formed on the comparatively young and small Earth, which at that time had not even been colonized. The Great Filter Concept The concept of the Great Filter combines some of the above arguments. This concept says that there is a kind of filter that is necessary to reach a level of civilization. This filter would present a hurdle or challenge that would make it very difficult to reach that level. It is possible that the higher intelligence is very rare in evolution. With this assumption, we humans would be the only life form that has overcome the Great Filter so far. A second possibility says that with the spread of civilizations, developments are automatically connected, which generally lead to the fact that this civilization will be extinguished at some point. With this possibility, other civilizations would have failed to overcome the filter and mankind would have to overcome it first. Natural philosophical approaches to the existence of extraterrestrials can be found in antiquity. Already in Plutarch's work Das Mondgeschicht, one can find thoughts about life forms that do not live on Earth. Such texts, however, have basically referred to mythology. Therefore, one cannot assume that these writings tried to develop theories about extraterrestrial life with rational arguments. Another problem in astrobiology is that there is no general definition of life. Several attempts have been made to define life, but no definition has been complete or satisfactory. From this, one could also conclude that there is no fixed division between living and not living. And even if there is life similar to that on Earth, 
it still has to be clarified whether this life originated on Earth and then spread in space, or whether it developed in another place independent of our Earth. What do you think? Do you think that man and our Earth are unique in the universe, and that our origin is nothing but a very improbable coincidence? Or are you science fiction fanatics who have long believed in the existence of other life forms outside the Earth, and already have precise ideas about their appearance, their way of life, and their planet? The topic of extraterrestrials will surely occupy science for a long time. So write your opinion as a comment. Maybe you have some innovative approach to a solution.